Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Diego Nightmare Sanchez. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Elia El Matador Barbaria. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. All right, ready to go for round one. And when you're fighting a guy like Diego Sanchez, you may want to pace yourself a little bit because even though you can touch that chin, you know it's going to take a Herculean effort to get him out of there. So we'll see how the opposition chooses to attack Diego Nightmare Sanchez here in round one. Double jab landed there by Sanchez. Caught that kick there. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Two. Jam, right here. Body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Sanchez. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are going bombs. This is going to be a great fight. Big hook. Big knee to the body. Oh, big elbow. Fast pace here in the early going. It's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40... Topodia's looking for a Darce choke here. That Darce choke is tight. Great submission defense. And he is back up to his feet. Oh, straight punch. He's got great kicks also. He used to throw more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, right hook attack, no good. Oh my goodness, he hurt him bad. Big left hand there inside. Oh, he's got a guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. He's really working hard for this guillotine. He can't blow out his arms. He's got to make... Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. These guys are working. Sanchez gets back up. Topuri, his eye is closing up. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out the space. Find places to rest. Get against the option, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that you have that next explosion. It actually has to be Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Now, another 
Another one lands there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. He picks up the attack, not being one dimensional, not head hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show itself. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Sanchez has got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. He knows you're going to come hard, so he's going to be ready. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready, taken fight. down back to the mat again. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. The jab here blocked by Topuria. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Pretty strong jab there by Sanchez. Nice body shot. Topuria's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh! Shots continue to rain down. He passed the half guard. Oh, and transitions right into side control. He let him step over to the crucifix. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Uh, now, this is a position you don't see every day. They're in the north-south position now on the ground. Going Kimura now. Oh, he's getting it deep. Oh, now he bails on the submission. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. This is where he wants to be. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Look at that. That's tight. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much rest. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Oh, that is tight. Could be the beginning of the end. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. That Doris is tight. Oh, flatten him on his back there. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that will play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial artist. Oh, good defense, yes. Oh, huge pop from the car, breaking the action here. No surprise to see it. The ref is going to get the doctor to look at that eye that is nearly shut at this point. Yeah, it's swollen bad, but he seems to still want to be out there. Well, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I love it when he lets it continue, especially when you have a fight that has been as fun as this one to this point. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on the shield. 
And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance. And as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they are thrilled. They start booing. And sometimes guys' eye is hanging off the side of his head. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pot. <laughs> Good as this. Back and forth we go. Oh, he lands a big elbow there. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. And go. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Sanchez's eye was starting to swell now. Seconds to go round two. Oh, lands a nice straight. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Right. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, somewhat mercifully, that is the end of the round. The swelling around his eye is out of control. Cut man hustling in quickly, but I think they might stop this fight, DC. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Great fight. Ready. Third round underway. Topuria's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Sanchez. Well, now that cut in the eye. Oh! to the body there by Sanchez. Nice punch to the head. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that knee. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. So Portia's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Ooh, it's tight. Oh, nice work as he delivers the elbow there from the bottom. Well, it's one thing to land a singular elbow. It's an entirely different thing to string them together. Beautifully done there by Ilya Topuria. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurting for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. It will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Oh my goodness, he might have it. Submission defense was able to take his arm out and stay safe. 
All right, he's got the feet on the hips now, DC, in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. Now, you're not going to get a submission off or anything like that, but you having your feet on your opponent's hips, it just allows you to build a, a, a push. You just push right. with your feet. You elevate your opponent's hips away from you, and then you just get a jiu-jitsu escape. Push your hand back, hip heights up, back to your feet, now we're back to fight. Well, you really hope that, well, you gotta think it's only a matter of time. Yup, referee stopping the action here. That swelling is getting out of control. This might be the end, DC. It's bad. I mean, it's a lot of swelling. And it's the damage that he has taken over the course of the fight that is making him swell to a point that I don't know if he can continue. Yeah, that's gonna do it. All right, fans don't like it, but he was rendered essentially a one-eyed fighter. And that is the end. It goes into the books as a TKO via doctor stoppage. Well, he, he looks upset at the doctor's decision, but in time, he will accept that this is probably better for his fighting future. Gotta play better defense. <laughs> the venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight, declaring the winner by TKO, Elia Elmedador All right, well, you can argue that is the singular biggest win of his career. Thank you, Buff. He gets it done by finish and does so against one of the better strikers.